It's been here for 79 years, a place where people still crowd around the coming soon sign. But what could be next for the show box is a teardown. The pre-application has been submitted. Ani Group, a Vancouver, B.C.-based developer, wants to turn the music venue into a mixed-use multifamily tower, apartment units, and retail space. Yeah, it's, it represents um, a lot of the cultural identity discussion that Seattle is having right now. Um, what are historical landmarks? What are our businesses that we want to preserve going forward? Um, what's significant to the growth of the city? Nate Omdahl brought those questions to City Hall. It's a five-string Fender jazz bass. With his focus on jazz and classical, he hasn't headlined at the showbox. It doesn't mean the same thing for me as it does for some of the folks upstairs. But he still came here to support musicians like Jay Middleton. With how many times I've been on that stage, I've been in that venue to see shows, it's like, Having that torn down, it, it just it doesn't feel right. Jay started a petition that now has tens of thousands of signatures. This time is of the essence here. And today, City Council member Shama Sawant called for a rally. We got to stand up for this. This is history, and we don't want it taken away. A crowd weaved through City Hall to make their plea in front of the Landmarks Preservation Board. We've seen a lot of our local spaces go away, and we would hate to see the show box go away too. And the last thing I want to see on behalf of the citizens of Seattle is art being ripped out of Seattle by developers. They want the show box to receive landmark status, part of an effort to preserve a place with deep roots in Seattle's music scene. It's just really important that a, a venue that's as visible as the show box is still in Seattle in some form. Uh, late tonight, I heard from a spokesperson for the developer who says they look forward to working with all stakeholders, including the city and the Landmarks Preservation Board, to determine the status of the building. Now, next week, Councilmember Sawant says she intends to prepare a city council resolution urging the board to preserve this place inside and out. She says she doesn't want to just preserve the facade, but preserve this as a performance venue. Live in Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.